How you doing boys and girls? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video, A-Dub Production signing on here with our SE600. If you haven't purchased your SE600 as of yet, use the description down below and purchase your SE600 using my Amazon link. I am an Amazon affiliate and it helps the channel out every time you use my link to purchase anything on Amazon, guys. Just had to get that out of the way. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a CB patch this is the this is i want to say this is the beginning of the cb patch because this is just like a dry like plain cb patch and we're going to be working on this we're going to make this an ongoing project with the channel but i want you guys to help me out and i'm going to test my skills by seeing if i can implement the little small changes that you guys tell me to make to make the to make the patch look better all right so um we're gonna dive into it this is not going to be something that i have on the site like right now we're going to work on this and we're going to continuously get it better until you guys are like no 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 i need it put it on the site i want to buy it all right so but in case you want to like stitch along with anything else just go ahead to the site alanaway.com and purchase all the embroidery files i have available i have them available for one dollar each and if you want to buy anything extra i have memory drives available that you can buy like buy them in bulk all right, so let's dive into it, guys. First things first, we're gonna reach on the side and turn on our SE600. We're also gonna take our memory slot and we are going to insert it in the side of the machine, like so. Then we're going to touch the touch screen of the SE600, press OK on the screen, cancel so it doesn't show our uh, last embroidery file. Then we have our hoop in and we have our stabilizer in. We're just going to go ahead and micro, uh, navigate through our system and go to our digitized files folder as we normally do. And give that folder a second to pop up. Got the hourglass spin in there. Yes, yes, yes. Navigate to our new CB's image and edit, embroider. It says it's gonna take 16 minutes for this to stitch out. And we already have our black thread loaded up right here. And we're going to go down here and we are going to start the embroidery process. 16 minutes, let's load the presser foot. We have preloaded our black thread and we're just gonna let it stitch out. Let's see how this goes. Let us see. How this goes, we got our fingers crossed. See a little stitch of thread at the top right there. I'm just gonna stop the machine already because I don't like that that little trim of thread is sticking up. So I'm just gonna trim that. That was my mistake for uh, not clipping that thread. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I don't have my tweezers. I'm still looking, still in search for my tweezers, guys. So let's let this machine stitch out the first wing of our CB and for those of you guys that don't know fun fact I am a CB construction battalion and I'm CB 0121 shouts out to my old unit and I'm a disabled veteran I got injured while training with my unit to go to Afghanistan so I never got deployed I wish I would have got deployed at least once but it wasn't in my story. God did not have that in my story, and I'm okay with that, guys. I'm okay with that, but I am a disabled veteran. And right now, I'm in the process of waiting for my certificate of eligibility so that I can buy my second home using the VA loan. So uh, that's what we have in store for the near future Dub Nation. Right now, it's looking pretty okay. I can increase the density on this, but it's looking okay. I'm just gonna let the whole thing stitch out and see how it comes out. I'm anticipating having to do a lot of trims in this design, so we shall see. And guys, if you have yet to purchase your brother SE600, use the link down in the description below. Use my Amazon link down in the description below and purchase your SE600 today. I'm an Amazon affiliate and I get a cut every time you use the affiliate link. This file, if you guys want to let me know down below, 
Um, I'm gonna work on it a little bit more. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this specific one on the website, but let me know if anybody wants it in the comments down below, and I'll put it on the website for one dollar, like I always do. But you know, I'll be putting more stuff on there. This might not be one of them. We'll see how it stitches out first, and let me know if you guys want it first and foremost. So yeah, I'm gonna let a little bit of this stitch out. And I'll be right back. You can already see the bee starting to take shape, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below already. Seeing the bee starts to take shape. Let's zoom in on that right there. Looking good, looking like a sea bee. I see plenty of areas that can use improvement. So this design can use improvement. And what I'm gonna start playing around with a lot, guys, is the density, because I don't think I'm adding enough stitches, because as you can clearly see, you can see through a lot of the, uh, the, the black area. I mean, and that's okay, because depending on what material you're stitching the stuff on, you won't be able to see it. And the reason why I chose to not make this thing colorful is because this is just the beginning stages of this design. I'm going to be working on this thing. So this is just the beginning stages. Uh, I'm going to see how I can improve it and I'm going to be working on it, um, you know, for, for, for a while now. So that's why I just chose to go one color, just black, because like I said, it's just the beginning stages. This is just another um, video to show you guys what the SE600 is capable of doing. All right, so like I said, if you haven't purchased your SE600 yet, use my Amazon link down in the description below to purchase your machine today so you can start making designs like me. So far, the B is coming out pretty good looking. What do you guys think? Comment in the comments down below. Comment in the comments down below. Time for me to uh, take a picture of this. Boom, do it for the gram. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Instagram.com backslash AW Productions. Support the brother. I need to get my followers up. Got my subscribers up on YouTube because I put the work in. I'm starting to put in a little bit of work on Instagram, but I'm not as consistent as I would like to be. Because, you know, it's always a work thing. Work just gets in the way, your regular job. I hope one day, I swear one day I'll be able to do this full time and be able to just create content for you guys full time and that is going to be awesome. It will happen one day. But you know, until that day comes, we grind it. Alright, I'll be right back after these messages. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise a press a foot and I'm going to trim this long, long, long stretch of thread right here because if I don't, it's just going to get in the way and it's not going to look so good. All right, so I'm just going to trim it right here and trim it where it came. Trim it from whence it came. Just under here, grab it by the, oops, and then lower back down and keep on going. Looks like it's coming along nicely, nice and even. Letters are looking good. Gonna have to do a few uh, stitch cuts, but it looks good overall. I'm very, very pleased. Everything looks even because I hooped it most excellently. I think that's all in the way I hooped it, why it's looking like that. So, looking good so far, guys. What do you guys think? In the comment section down below, let me know how it's coming along. CBs of the Navy. Take this out and see what we got. 
okay on the screen. Take it out. Boom. I think it looks rather good. Plenty of stitches I gotta trim out. But it's a really, really good start. Really good start. So I'm gonna be working on this to get this better. All right, because we want this to be superb. All right, so we're gonna be working on this file to get it to stitch out better, increasing the density and things like that. All right, so let me trim it out and we'll, we'll look at it close up. All right guys, this is what we came out with. This is our CB, um, first trial run of it. I think it looks pretty good. We can increase the density a little bit. We can play around with some colors. We can play around with an outline around the whole thing. So uh, let me know, because I want this to be, I want this one to be interactive. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, look at this image carefully and let me know specifically what parts I should change. Don't just tell me, hey, add color. Um, tell me exactly what you want me to do and I'm gonna try it. So look at this design right here. Let me know what to add. Let me know what to take out. Let me know what colors to change. Um, let me know if I should put an outline around the B or a, or a circle around the whole thing or maybe just like a circle around this area to kind of like outline the thing and then what color. You guys let me know what to do, all right? Change the wings, uh, I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys want me to do with this. Um, specifically, be specific as possible, all right? And I'll make the necessary changes and I will, you know, stitch it out again. Let's see, guys. So I'd really, really like to thank you guys for watching the video today. This is our file. I think it came out great. Let me know once again in the comments down below how you think the file turned out. If you haven't purchased your SE600, I keep on saying that, use my link down in the description below to purchase the SE600 or anything else on the channel that I talk about, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash Productions. Let me know what changes you want me to make this to this file because I will be making the changes and implementing them and show you guys the changes that I do. Maybe I might show you guys in the software. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do these videos yet, but we're gonna make this better and better and better. Guys, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. Let me know what changes in detail you guys want me to make this file. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Alan Wade, I'm out. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?